Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching the station identification of one of Whalen City's resident YouTubers. Live in the basement, this is not MTV's remote control, and he is not Ken Ober, God rest Ken Ober's soul. This is WEML-TV, Channel 77, and now here's your host, New Bedford, Massachusetts' own... Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is great. Call a familiar face. Call all the folks you know from your family, friends, frenemies, enemies. Call everyone you know. All your acquaintances, co-workers, and everybody else because tell them to tune in to my YouTube CBS station identification. No... Not the pharmacy, but channel vlog show. This is WEML TV channel uh, channel seventy seven. This is episode five hundred ninety nine. It's October the second, two thousand twenty one, two fifty five p.m. in the afternoon, and this is the show where it's ordinary and there is me. That's right. There's ordinary and there's me, the host of the show, Mr. Eric Lima. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful. Um, weekend to start a um, wonderful start to your weekend. A little crazy around here in my life, but that's that's the that's the norm for me, and uh, everything else in between. Uh, today uh, we're going to talk about what happened last night. SmackDown draft draft 2021 night one. Now I want to want to let you let me know a tidbit tidbit. These rosters will not be locked in until after Crown Jewel. That means October the 22nd. On SmackDown will be the season premiere, I think. And that will be the, where the new rosters get locked in. So, uh, <clears throat> so you gotta watch out. And so, right now, we only have three weeks for everybody to um, tie some loose ends on SmackDown spot and on Raw. Alright, so in the WWE, some loose ends going to be tied. Remember, NXT does get involved in the draft. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. i got some proof of that already. So... We got some proof of that in these picks. Let me tell you. Uh, so SmackDown. All right. So they kicked it off with the um, the draft for the first round. And the first round, the overall pick goes to SmackDown, and that overall number one overall pick will go to the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, the Big Dog himself, the Universal Heavyweight Champion Roman Reigns, will be staying on stay put on SmackDown. Then for the first round pick on Monday Night Raw. Big E will remain on Raw as the WWE Champion, and he will once again be on Raw. He was on. He was a SmackDown superstar before he cashed in that money in the bank to become champion. So Big E is now going to be on the Red Brand once again. And the second pick for the first round, the Raw Women's Champion Charlotte Flair will move over to SmackDown. With that addition, all four horsewomen of the WWE are now on Monday Night Raw. I mean, on SmackDown, excuse me, Friday Night SmackDown, excuse me, Friday Night SmackDown. So, so there is that. So, so there is that. So, the SmackDown Women's Division has got even better. All right, but Monday Night Raw will gain Bianca Belair from SmackDown. So Bianca Belair, who started on Raw, now is on SmackDown. So you know, who started on Raw, now is back on Raw. What am I saying? <laughs> I messed up today. All right. So, let's go over the first round. For the uh, first round, once again, the uh, top two picks for the first round, Roman Reigns and Charlotte Flair. Flair comes from Raw to SmackDown. While Big E and Bianca Belair come from SmackDown to Raw. Once again. So, so those are the two picks right, uh, right there. Now they did the second round. All right. Drew McIntyre will go from Raw to SmackDown. That means another opportunity for McIntyre to go challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. And then, for Raw, RK Bro remains on Raw, the, the Raw Tag Team Champions. But the New Day, uh, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods will be split from Big E once again as they go to SmackDown once again. And Edge will go from SmackDown to Raw. Now, here's the funny part. I'm sure Von Baskin is going to get kicked out of this one. If Edge... Let's just say that Seth Rollins comes over to Monday Night Raw and recruits two people to team up with him. All right, and they said, "Okay, we have fun fish business. We don't like uh, RK Bros, the tag team champions. 
they want the Raw Tag Team titles. And Seth Rollins says, okay, I can get I can get you a tag RK bro. Think about this. If Edge teamed up with Matt Riddle and Randy Orton, could they be called Rated RK bro? Hmm. Something to think about. Something to think about. <laughs> it's something to think about. So, once again, the uh, second round, Drew McIntyre and the New Day will go from Raw to SmackDown. And from for Raw, RK Bro remains, and Edge comes from SmackDown to Raw. So, so there's that. And Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman were arrived at the ring, and they addressed um, Baltimore. And then Brock Lesnar interrupts Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. And attack, and then, then Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns started going at it, and the Usos got involved, and they all got suplexed for their troubles. So the Bloodline got involved, and then Kayla Braxton interviewed Charlotte Flair about about going from Raw to SmackDown. Charlotte Flair says she'll continue dominance as the Queen. So, and Kevin Owens went one on one with Happy Corbin. And thanks to Happy Corbin's new sidekick, Madcap Moss, not Riddick Moss, Madcap Moss, um, Happy Corbin did pick up the victory over Kevin Owens. A lot of people are speculating that Kevin Owens is on his way out from the WWE. And if that's the case, he may end up in the AEW, I think. So we'll see with that and be back to Kevin Steen. I like to see that, you know. Uh, I, I'm going to miss Kevin Owens in the WWE if that's the case. But Kevin Owens did all right for himself. He was a, a former Universal Champion, former Intercontinental Champion. Uh, former United States champion and a former tag team champion as well as a former NXT champion. So Kevin, Kevin always did all right for himself in the WWE, right? I'm going to have to admit that. So, and then uh, Caleb Braxton interviewed Drew McIntyre about him being on SmackDown, but he got some ties with loose ends. Um, on Raw, we'll see if he can try to get the WWE championship and bring that over. We never know for sure. Um, Edge returned to SmackDown, addressed the crowd about Seth Rollins. He says, one more time, Rollins, you and me. But Rollins says, well, interrupts Edge, but he says, but I'm not there in Baltimore. I'm here at your place. I'm like, Seth Rollins just pulled a Diamond Dallas page. You know, how, you're in SmackDown? Dang. I'm here at your place, Undertaker. Pull the Diamond Dallas page on that one. I was like, oh, boy. He goes inside, checks, you know, goes in the fridge, drinks, eats an apple, drinks some orange juice, and then uh, Edge calls his wife Beth, who probably is still in Florida because of NXT. Um, so you just, you know, groceries to stay at your brother's house. Call, you know, Daniel and David, and what? So it's gonna be. I was like, Beth Phoenix would have glam slammed his butt through a table, Seth Rollins' butt through a table. I can guarantee you that. That would have happened. Now imagine if you will. What if Becky Lynch says, you know, I should help my husband out. Edge and Beth Phoenix versus Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. Let's make that thing a mixed tag match. Let's just say Seth Rollins stays on SmackDown. And Becky Lynch stays on SmackDown. Edge can recruit Beth Phoenix and say, hey, honey, Raw versus SmackDown. Mixed tag. Let's make that match happen. Uh -huh. That would be really great. So Rollins goes around the house. and like, So Carmella and Liv Morgan... Uh, it was no contest because Carmella decides to put on a mask, and I think more of a face, she, you know, just a regular a mask. You know, she's too beautiful to wear a mask. I mean, listen, I think she would have wore a face protector at least, like a Sheamus, you know, even though you, she didn't have her nose broken and all that. A face protector would have been more likely. A regular cloth mask isn't going to help Carmella. Isn't going to help Mella, honey. So... Anyways, we're getting to the uh, third round of the Raw, I mean, of the Raw SmackDown draft for the night. Uh, the third round goes like this. Happy Corbin and Madcap Ma uh, Moss will be staying on on SmackDown, as well as the women's tag team champions, Ray Ripley and Nikki A.S.H. And this is where the NXT factor comes in, ladies and gentlemen. For, for the third round selected, hit, hit, row. That's right. It is the North American champion, Isaiah Swerve Scott. Asante Diodonis, Top Dollar, and B-Fab will be on SmackDown. Remember, these rosters will not be locked in place until October the 22nd, Friday. That's a couple of, um, that's three weeks from, from yesterday. So, in three weeks, these, in about three weeks, approximately three weeks, these rosters will be locked up after the draft. So, Hit Road, that's a huge uh, moment. They made their uh, mark in NXT. Uh, Isaiah Squirrel Scott's the North American champion still. He has yet to defend that title since defeating uh, Bronson Reed, a.k.a. Jonah, for that title. So, we'll see what happens on X. Remember, three weeks. So, 
He's got to lose that title in three weeks before making a transition. Him and his crew make that transition um, to uh, SmackDown. And I'm sure there's some tying up loose ends in Legado de, against Legado del Fantasma. I wouldn't be surprised if the LDF end up somewhere. Because I think they're, you know, a lot of people have been liking them as well. And if, if let's, let's say Legado del Fantasma, the entire crew, heads up to money. Let's say drafted by Raw. Think about this, folks. You got Angel Garza and Roberto Carrillo still there on Raw. You know, either one of them, if like, let's say that team splits up in the draft, you can have one of them get recruited to LDF, Legado del Fantasma. Who knows? You know, Electra Lopez can do some persuasion. Let me tell you, she's one hot mama. Let me, t or hot mamacita. Let me tell you. So, so hit row. So the hit row, the NXT factor hit row will be part of SmackDown in three weeks. And Keith Bearcat Lee will be remaining on Monday Night Raw. Now, the nickname Bearcat is to honor a wrestling legend by the name of Bearcat Wright. You know, so, um, it's an African-American wrestler, um, a black American wrestler named Bearcat Lee. Just to let you know, that's in honor of that legend. I think he is inducted to the W Hall of Fame in, in the legend wing or something like that. I think, yeah. I, all I know is he made quite the impact. So... So that's the end of the third round. So Happy Corbin, Madcap Mass, and a uh, Madcap Mass, Madcap Moss of Hit Row, and 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 Hit Row. That's right, Hit Row, man. I'll tell you one thing, Hit Row could be a huge factor. A lot of people are hating on Hit Row. Come on, if you watch Hit, you know, I'm not, I think a lot of people are not paying attention to NXT as much. And for for a lot of people that you know dis Hit Row, man, I'll tell you one, the Hit Row is very very good. You've got to watch some NXT matches. Isaiah Swerve Scott, who's formerly known as Shane Strickland in the Indies, and of course Lucha Underground. I mean, the guy is good. He's the North American champ. I don't know why. I don't understand the hate. And Ray Ripley, um, Nikki A.S.H., and Keith Bearcat Lee will remain on Monday Night Raw. For the fourth round of um, SmackDown, Naomi. Uh... Naomi will, will stay on the SmackDown brand, much to the chagrin of Sonya Deville. And Jeff Hardy will move from Raw to SmackDown. So, Jeff Hardy is uh, going to get some new rivalries going. Uh, the Mysterios will be moving from SmackDown to Monday Night Raw, the former t SmackDown Tag Team Champions. And Austin, another NXT factor, Austin Theory, formerly of the way, will be part of the Raw roster. So... So congratulations to Austin Theory. So, uh, so the NXT factor kicked in in the in the third and fourth rounds, with um, Hit Row on going to SmackDown, Austin Theory going to the Monday Night Raw. I think it's a huge huge factor, and um, it's a huge factor coming in. And remember, these rosters will not be locked up until October the twenty second, the day after Crown Jewel. So, so that means a lot of loose ends to tie up between now and then. Uh, New Day and the Street Profits already uh, making their mark against the Dirty Dogs in the Alpha Academy. The Dirty Dogs are Rude and Ziggler. And New, the New Day and the Street Profits, despite the fact that Montez Ford wasn't at 100%, end up picking up the victory. And here's the fun part. Here's a fun interview. Kayla Brax about to interview Jeff Hardy and Brock Lesnar. Steps in, kindly interrupts. Jeff Hardy's like, don't want a piece of you. Got a lot of respect for you. I'm out. And he goes, I apologize for the intrusion. And Brock Lesnar is, you know, is pronounced that thanks to his good friend Paul Heyman. And he's a free agent. And he just get to do whatever I want. Paul Heyman. <laughs> Paul Heyman really dug himself. And then the bloodline Paul Heyman talked about Lesnar in the draft. And Roman Reigns kind of lost his cool with Heyman at that point. You're not the wise man until you say that. I say you're the wise man. So. And, uh. So uh, Bianca Belair went one on one with Sasha Banks in the main event. Becky Lynch, Becky Lynch joins on commentary, and Becky Lynch went off on Michael Cole. I love it. I was like, I think ba somewhere at home, Bailey's got a big smile on her face. Says, thanks, Becky. Thanks, Becky. Thanks for picking on Michael Cole for me. And got involved in a matchup by uh, holding the ponytail for the the new Raw superstar, Bianca Belair. Sasha Banks picked up the victory, but then Charlotte Flair. Attacked both every both Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks, and leaving her and Becky Lynch holding their belts up high. This ought to be interesting. As you like, I said before, all four horsewomen of NXT WWE is now on SmackDown. Even though Bailey's hurt and injured right now, that's you know 
That's the way it, it goes. Uh, 205 Live Action, you know, um, the up-and-coming superstars on the WWE and NXT. Dante Jen, the first Singapore uh, superstar to come from Singapore, defeated Malik Blade. Amari Miller picked up a victory over uh, Valentina Verois. And Imperium picked up a huge victory. Uh, picked up another victory over Ikemen Jiro and Trey Baxter. That's all it is. And there's a huge announcement. The King of the Ring and the Queen's, Round Tur and Queen's Crown Tournaments will be happening starting next week on SmackDown. The King of the Ring and the Queen's Crown Tournament. And I think everything is going to culminate at Crown Jewel, I think. So that's going to be something to uh, to watch. It's going to be something that uh, well, it flies around here. Man. So that is going to be a very, very interesting uh, interesting two tournaments in main event. Before we conclude, though, there's lots of draft picks that were... Uh, we're kind of like, you know, value picks in here and here and about. Um, on, I watch on Talking Smack and welcome a new member of Talking, uh, in the WWE of Talking Smack. Jackie Redman has joined the team. So, SmackDown, Aaliyah from NXT, another uh, young lady from NXT that will be part of the SmackDown roster. Drew Gulak, Mace, they're splitting up Mace and T-Bar, Mansoor, Mustafa, Mustafa Ali, and Tony Storm round out the, Smack, the rest of the SmackDown picks. Remember, half of the is the other half next this coming Monday. Um, Raw Nia Jax will remain on Raw. John Morrison, Reggie, R. True, Drake Maverick, T. Bar, uh, T. Bar will remain on Raw, splitting up and Mace. I didn't know that Mace is originally from Massachusetts. I did not know that Mace and T. Bar they could have been great. Couldn't call the name the Mass Marauders or something like that. Um, Zelina Vega moves from uh, um, SmackDown to Raw, and. Akira, um, Akira Tazawa remains on Raw. Um, so we're SmackDown to Raw, Alpha Academy, that's Otis and Chad Gable, Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz, and Dewdrop. If Omos remains on Raw, imagine him and Aziz lock up. Okay, here's the deal. If they split up AJ Styles and Omos during the uh, the draft next week, on this coming Monday, let's say AJ Styles goes to SmackDown, Omos remains on Raw. I think Apollo Crews could have picked the perfect time after Crown Jewel, to recruit Omos and Commander Aziz to back him up. I may, you know, but then again, you never know what's going to happen in the draft afterwards. So, that is going to be, uh, that is going to be it for, uh, so that is going to be all for the WWE Draft, 2001, 2021, I should say, Night 1, uh, I'm messing up my words. I do apologize ahead of time, folks. Um, so, that's all the time we have on the show. On the next episode, episode 600. That's right, 600 episode. We're going to talk a little bit about AEW Rampage. All right? I will see you later. Um, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. And, and, and I hope that you guys, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, until the next episode, peace, love, bless out. I will see you. I'm just writing stuff down, getting prepared for this Monday night on Raw. All right, I'll see you later. Have a great and wonderful day.